So the question is, should you create your own website if you're starting out as a network marketer or affiliate marketer? So I'm very familiar with the affiliate marketing industry and I also understand the gist of how network marketing works. And should you have a response for this? Do you believe you should create your own website in order to progress further with your business? Leave a comment below. Now, personally, I believe that you do definitely and 100% need to create a landing page, a website, or some other free resource or something that is a paid service when you're getting started to enable you to grow your email list and also to enable you to brand your own personalities. So first of all, companies come and go. Don't be reliant just on the company helping you out. Create your own personality because those companies can come and, come and go, can shut down, and always think in multiple sources of income streams. Once you've learned one trade, always have something that is a backup plan. That is why you also don't just want to prom uh, depend on somebody else's resources 100% like the website that they've created. As much as it's benefiting you both mutually, always think about in the wrong run, do you have a way to actually engage with uh, prospective and ideal clients should you create your own personal products as well? And isn't it worth more people getting to know, like, and trust you as a person so that they then get to understand what got you interested in the first place in the products and services that you're promoting? Isn't the likelihood that people are going to be more motivated to opt in into your offers due to getting to know you as a person other than you sending somebody a link that belongs to somebody else? So these are the questions I'd always ask and consider. So I hope this has been helpful. And my response is always definitely, yes, create your own resources because think about it as starting your own business in whatever shape or form, and then use that resource to educate others, to inform them, and also to think about what are the specific cures, the solutions that are pe people are looking for. And that should be the basis or the premises of what motivated you to actually um, opt in into working in partnership with other businesses. Um, and you can also see from examples as well, where it's like um, the culture now from um, Instagram. Instagram, where people have created their own brand personalities, they've become influencers, as this is something that they've opted into. So influencers, again, that could mean <laughs> all sorts of things for so many people. But you can take case and examples where um, their, uh, their partnership is with other brands. But what continues to remain constant and what people are connecting to is them as an individual before they even connect with that um, specific brand. Okay, so they're helping to boost the other brand's um, products and services, but at the same time, they're also getting to be known as their own individual in their own right. And that's the way you should look at any opportunity that you opt into, whether it be network marketing or affiliate marketing. And also email, people talk about the email, um, emailing being dead. Mm. Actually, I don't believe, <laughs> I don't believe it's 100% dead because I've had people a year later, six months later, three months later, come and engage with me and give me back feedback on um, what information they found useful. So the email is also about not just sell, sell, sells. It's about building a relationship beyond social media platforms. It's about um, building that nurturing um, relationship so that over time, not everybody is going to opt into your offer, but over time, they may also be more motivated and after they've learned 
more about what you have to offer so that's where it pays off that you have to look at it that at least you've got the front end and the back end covered the front end meaning your social media platform and then in the back end you have something else working on your behalf should you have like products and services that you've created on your own or should you wish to and it's always beneficial to educate people more about what motivated them in the first instance to opt in into your offer so i hope this is all making sense and i hope it's been of benefit should you have any questions just put yes need to learn more below in the comment section or connect with me by sending me a private message I'm happy to help this past week I have been reviewing um, social media platforms and providing feedback so that's an area that I can also help you with which I don't do very often but once in a while I like to do a more like a, let's get things automated and let them run <laughs> let them run on their own in the background but i also like from the past i don't even know over five years six years um i've got into um learning ways on how to um just present you know certain like images or profiles and things that people might be missing which are quite essential and the essential ones um i'll talk about it in the next video because i could go on forever the key point here was to get on and talk about should you have uh should you create a website and i'll add on a landing page as well i believe that if you don't create a website at least create a landing page um, which will give you the opportunity to develop your email list in the background because that's where your wealth is so your wealth is in the email list i'll leave it here for today bye for now